Today we are working on a very special animation effect, the movement of sunlight. Hey there guys, I hope you are doing well. Today we will learn how to animate the movement of sunlight in our projects to achieve a very special visual effect and get professional and cool output. In this regard, I'm going to select the directional light from the outliner section and after that, by press and holding Ctrl and L buttons on the keyboard, I'm going to change the position of the sunlight. And the effect of sun's rotation is obvious in the scene. And I think sun's position is cool right here. But let me tell you something. There are many ways to animate the sunlight in your projects, but today I'm going to introduce you two methods to do that. The first one is to animate the sunlight in real-time projects like games. And if you want to learn how we can export an animation in which the sunlight is moving, you'll be able to do that by watching the next method. So let's jump into the first method. While the directional light is selected, from the details section, click on the add button and by doing that, a new list will appear which contains many components that you can assign them to the actor you've selected. And in this case, I'm going to assign the rotating movement component to the directional light actor. And after that, from the details of rotating movement component, we're going to change the rotation rate in the Z axis. But first, let's try it in its default value. And all we need to do is to click this play button over here and let's see the results. So as you can see, the rotation speed of sunlight is too high and we need to reduce it. So in this regard, I'm going to stop the simulation. And after that, I will set the rotation rate on 20 in the Z axis. Now let's start the simulation again to see the results. So as you can see, the rotation speed is more slower now. And this also makes the time of night and day longer. Well, in order to make this effect bolder on the scene, I'm going to change the position of the sun. And to do it, as we did before, just select the directional light from the outliner section and after that, press and hold the Ctrl and L buttons. And after that, just rotate your mouse. I think the location of sun is cool here. And now let's see the results. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. But I think it would be better to decrease the rotation rate again. And finally, let's start the simulation again and see the results. And yes. This is what I was talking about. A very cool and attractive visual effect, which can be used by everyone, especially game developers. All right, let's assume that you want to add this visual effect on the animation that you want to export. So in this regard, you have to add a sequencer to your project as I'm doing right now. And after that, let's add the camera that you've placed on your scene to the sequencer. And the next step is to add the directional light to the sequencer. So once you have done that, from the sequencer, click on the track button in the directional light and after that, add the transform. Once you have done that, the transform section will appear under the direction lines. And if you expand it, you can access to the rotation of the actor. After that, set the time slider on the first frame and then add a keyframe to the yaw. And again, set the time slider on the last frame. And after that, just change the amount of yaw. But to get better results, let's add keyframes to the pitch. So in this regard, I'm going to set the time slider on the first frame and add a keyframe. And after that, let's set the time slider to the last frame and let's change the amount of the pitch. As you can see, the result is much better now. 
Alright guys, that's all for this video. And if you want to learn how to export this animation with Movie Render Queue, don't miss the video which has appeared on your screen. If you have any question or opinion, leave it to the comment section below. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos.